Hey everybody, guess what? It's Monday. That means me, Gear Noor, theshavingcadre.com. Good to be back with you guys. I'm here for my weekly shave video. Oh yes, much fun and enjoyment. Um, something new today. The missus went and did a thing. And not only in the last couple of days did she get me a nice bottle of bourbon. Mmm, Eagle Rare. First time I've ever had that. I snuck it on her grocery list and she's like, What is this? And I said, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. I don't know what you mean. And she's like, Mm-hmm. Well, she got it anyway because she loves me. It was $35. That's the, what it, the price was at the place we got. A little more expensive than some of the other places by a couple bucks, at least here in California. But, dang, that's a pretty good bourbon. If you're looking, that's kind of like the top price I think I would pay for a bottle of bourbon. You never know. Curiosity gets the better of you sometimes. But it was pretty dang good. So she got me that. And I'm looking forward to having more of that probably tonight. Mm, just sips. Not getting drunk or anything, I promise. And she also, uh, with my mother-in-law yesterday... And the kids went to a place locally called Apple Hill. It's about a 45 to an hour drive um, away from Sacramento here. And they specialize, obviously by the name, in all things apple. They've got a ton of apple orchards up in the hills there. And it's open to the public uh, most of the time. There's many different, it's like a co-op of many different kind of uh, apple farms and um, there's usually shops at each one or small activities to do, you know, like farms kind of stuff, hay rides or enjoying apple pies. And one of their big things is their fresh, like apple ciders and apple juice and um, apple donuts. Oh, I got some of those for after the shave. Oh, yeah. Eat that. Dave in Kentucky. <laughs> but anyway, uh, one of the vendors there happened to sell soaps. This is going to be a little bit of a test because the pure essential oil and spice included in this is cinnamon. I don't know if I've ever had a cinnamony, uh, at least this pure kind of uh, soap before, but this is a shaving soap. Mr. Beardsley Shaving Soap from Feather Falls Soap Company, who they're actually out of Chico. Uh, that's also California. Um, but they use essential oils and base oils of olive coconut and sustainable palm so we'll see how this does cinnamon is um, an irritant for a lot of people and i'm not quite sure if that includes me so i've got a little bowl here Here's, this is not actually a shave bowl but i'm going to bloom it just a tad We'll see how it goes. I'm not going to make make you guys wait too long. It's already been three and a half minutes. So I got to get going. Back to my old routine of talking too much. Anyway. Just let it bloom long enough so I can wet my big bruise here. Something else that's been going on in my shaving world on the TSC is... Uh, I'm involved in a number of pass arounds, one of which came in today. I'm the last person on the chain. And that is Monkey John sent out his RFB raised flat bottom. Um, this is, I think these are considered Gillette News. Um, I have an old type. You've seen me shave with that before. And I've actually done comparisons with that. And today I promised I'd do a little video with this guy and um, give some kind of final thoughts. I've actually had, this will be my fourth shave with it, and I think I've pretty well solidified where it's at, uh, how I like it, and especially in comparison with the new. Let's see if we can get this shave soap going. Never used this kind of soap before. Um, like I said, it's a local artisan. The puck only cost about six bucks, which isn't bad, and you saw how big it is. I mean, that's pretty hefty. That's like actual hockey puck size. If you're counting that kind of thing, we'll get try to get a good load here. This is a little bit of a harder soap, it seems like. 
maybe some kind of melt and pour involved in it. But we'll give them the benefit of the doubt and say they just figured out their own soap recipe. This seemed like there's some that glycerin base though. Let's see. You can see it's building up. I'm just overloading here because I don't know what to expect. Smells good. My wife says it smells a lot like the clove stuff, like bay rum. She um, is not a fan of bay rum. I know. I love it. Bootleggers and whatnot. Okay, this is feeling a lot like, uh, oh gosh, Honey Bee Sue. Her, um, her soaps, that glycerin kind of base. Melt and pour base. So this is definitely something you want to kind of uh, wet up real good before you use it. I'm probably going to have to make more about there at some point and go back and reload. No irritation yet? That's good. <laughs> But uh, my wife smells bay rum when she smells this. She says it's very clovey for her. To me, it smells a little bit. I can get that bay rum, but it smells more like a really, really spiced up, uh, like apple cider. I mean, obviously coming from Apple Hill, it's got to have an apple-y kind of theme, but that's what I get. So this isn't the best lather, but we'll get this going. Looks like it's going to disappear on me, actually. Even my soap is telling me to hurry up. <laughs> anyway, so I got this RFB. About five or six days ago and yeah I'm gonna have to load more it's all right new products anyway five or six days ago I got this in the mail kind of try out from John a couple others have uh, been in the past round and already given their thoughts most of them were convinced enough to want to go look for one themselves hello Tal I was looking over here but it's over here it switches places on me like that eye patch and oh, there's a movie is it Princess Bride? I can't remember. We're in Hunchback of Notre Dame where the hump switch sides. <laughs> anyway, or is that the Young Frankenstein? Maybe that's the Young Frankenstein. Um, and soap here. This is pretty frothy. And it's a nice shave. I mean, if you've been keeping up with what my posts or my thoughts on TSC, you know, I'm not disappointed with it. I mean, it's a cool, a rarer piece of shave history. A lot of people that do use them love them over the other kinds of news. Short comb or long comb or I think maybe the only one that might be liked just as much as the deluxe. Oops, I already did that, huh? It's alright, this is actually pretty slick. And 
definitely thinking glycerin base. Yeah, it just disappeared right on me. So this is one of those you have to load heavy and work really good. Keep that in mind for the future. Certainly smells darn good. Um, so I shaved two days in a row with it. It was like Thursday, Friday. And I thought, you know, well, it's all right. Each shave has gotten a little bit better um, as I do it. And a little bit smoother because the first shave was actually a little tuggy. And it feels like, to me, the RFB has a... Uh, a narrower cutting range or optimal cutting window than the long comb. I visually compared the um, the uh, heads of the long comb and the RFB, and it looks like the RFB has a bigger gap. But for some reason, it doesn't translate as well into its cutting power. My first shave was a little tuggy here and there when I was rounding corners. And I mean, that, some of that's to be expected because it's a new razor and each razor has to kind of be learned. Rebuilding some leather here. Had to reload. But overall, I said yesterday, and I'll stick by it, if I didn't have the long comb, I would probably not know any better, and I would think of the raised flat bottom would be a great shave for an open comb. Open combs are just a little bit naturally more aggressive anyway. And so I would expect some kind of aggression, but I've been getting more into um, mild razors lately. I did buy a Game Changer 0.84 open comb. You guys have seen me use that. And I've got that new long comb that I traded for. I've got to be careful today. I've got to interview. I don't want to cut myself. Of course, now that I said that, that's what can happen. But anyway, yeah, if I didn't have the long comb, I'd probably not know any better. I think it was great. It's worth the price that they usually are. I don't know. In that regard, it's another reason I'm happy with the long comb. But overall, I feel the long comb is a bit smoother, more smooth, however you want to say that. This just has a kind of a rough edge for me on some of the strokes. It's easy to go from smooth to catching your breath a little bit, like, oh, I'm not going to cut myself. So I feel the long comb has a slight advantage 
that way. And you know, I've never shaved with a short comb otherwise. So I couldn't make that comparison. That would probably be a better comparison, the short comb to the um, RFB rather than the long comb to the RFB. But you know, that's why there's pass arounds. Uh, very generous people like John let people borrow their razors. So I appreciate that I have the long comb now a little bit more. Great to try the RFB. But it seems like as much as most other people enjoy the RFB, I'd be happy with it, but I'm not going to go out and look for one. I'd be happy with one if I had it, but I don't. All right, I'm going to leave that there. Like I said, I got an interview today uh, with an out-of-state job, ministry work. And I don't think we're going to be doing a face call. Oops, the soap dispenser. I'm not going to be doing a face-to-face -face call, like a Skype or anything, as far as I know, but just in case. Yeah, it's kind of a pretty bubbly leather. It smells really good. It's nice and slick. Aided by a lot of glycerin, it feels like. It does feel like the honeybee soap. It's like a cross between honeybee soap and like Williams or something. In terms of the lather structure. It's really that lighter, more airy lather. And if I get a little more chance to work with it, I'm sure I'll figure it out better. But thank you, honey. You just randomly on our way back we went out to dinner last night and i met them at the restaurant because i had to do other stuff while they were at apple hill my yard work Ugh. But, and then she goes i bought you a shaving soap and i was a little taken aback random thing but i guess at six bucks it made her feel it was worth it <laughs> So a good report, cinnamon doesn't seem to be something that affects me. That's nice. Good to know. Get some cold water here. Speaking of John, we have got something I haven't sent him his bingo prize yet, but something's in the works. I hope he's going to be happy with it. Something very special. And uh, so hopefully, I'm not sure exactly when it's going to arrive, but... Please let us know when you do get it. Something I don't think anybody in the cadre has used, so it'll be a little bit unique that way. Looking forward to your thoughts on it and seeing you maybe use it even. So some witch hazel, got some Thayer's now. I've been using both lately. 
even though they're kind of the same thing. I use the generic witch hazel more for its regular witch hazel properties and Thayer's more for the extra skin food it has. So it's kind of clovey, kind of cinnamony. I don't really have anything that matches that really well, but I'm going to use some modern old spice. I think that'll go kind of well. Mrs. doesn't like this either. I used to wear this in like junior high and high school. Oh well, I like it. Might not be as good as it was back then, this modern stuff, but still pretty good. And that's the shave for today. Got some nice sleep today. Um, it was kind of a draggy weekend. We had a huge event on Friday that we'd been preparing for a day or two in advance. And that day with just a bunch of stuff was going on and then we had to clean up after it all. And yeah, it was pretty crazy. And I was beat. My wife saw this huge bruise on my shin um, yesterday morning. She's like, what that's from? And like cleaning up that event, got banged around a lot and all that kind of stuff. And had to do yard work yesterday. So it's been a busy weekend, busy week. I'm looking forward to this new one. Happy Monday, everybody. Hope you all have a good one. Um, the rest of my shaves can be caught up at www.theshavingcadre.com. I've got a little journal there. Uh, Monkey's bingo game is about to start. John, the winner from the last game, my game, um, he's got some crazy idea going on. It's going to be like sudden death bingo where there's two cards and you sign up for one of the cards that you want. Everybody gets the same card or something like that. And then the first person to pop up with bingo, they're it. So got to pay attention, I guess, but we'll see how that goes and catch us up there. Uh, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great week.